So welcome to our tutorial today and I will be showing you how to use Expo 2014 as a free software to do retail refinement. So welcome to our first video in this channel. We will be showing you how to use Expo 2014 as a free software to carry out retail refinement. And the software is for free but the data you need to do the refinement will be from you. Let's get started. So you first of all open the software expo on the desktop as shown below and you have to have two data which are very important. I have prepared this for you and this is the CIF data CIF file and the DAT data which is the powder x-ray data which you need for the refinement. Moving forward go and click on file import structure and then look for the data which we need this meant to so this is the data we'll take the C file so once you you um, once you choose the C file this will be uploaded and it will be shown to you that the C file has been uploaded by clicking on this spot here and clicking on the cell edges you can be able to view your structure as you'll use a normal software like diamonds it serves the same function here too but moving on we minimize this window and we have to upload the diffraction pattern in this case the pulse. it has been converted from raw data into date data so the name of the file dot date and then you click ok and then because we measured the data using a single wavelength we just click ok we don't click on this we just leave it alone and click on ok and so, this is the powder x-ray data that we will be using. As you can see, it is very clean and has very very few side faces. In case you want to reduce the range, you can go to pattern, range, and then give up to theta, maybe let's say 90. Let me just reduce here and type 90 and click apply use the range from 7.99 to 90 next we go and click on file and then on refine and then we click retfield and then you'll be given this dialog here so you choose automatic file refinement and you choose automatic refinement of structure the two things has to be chosen and then you go back, you move forward to powder data, you leave this one the way it is. And then when you come here, you have to choose the profile function, which is pseudo forked. In corrections, you don't need to touch anything. Go back to the structure. If anything is everything is okay, check once more the powder data, general, and of structure, and then click on refine and wait for it to start And as you can see, our refinement is done. What we have to now go and check is click on the second window and check our data. And as you can see, the atoms do not move much. And we can close this window now. Go to the second window and click on information file tools and then click on information structure and look at how much deviation happened so this is the final structure it has been defined. as you can see everything is well <clears throat> thank you for watching